There has been a second arrest in the Roxboro shooting where a young football player was killed and four other teenagers wounded. This suspect is a teen himself and was taken into custody at his home. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters right now with the details. Matt. You can ingest that 17 year old suspect is too young to legally own a gun, but police tell us he was captured on camera during that shooting last month. 17 year old Zahi Jones now faces murder, aggravated assault, and related charges in connection to the deadly shooting outside Roxborough High School. We do believe the evidence is quite strong in this case, connecting him to the incident itself and to the conspiracy to carry out murder that occurred outside Roxborough High School. Police took Jones into custody at a home along the 2700 block of West Albert Street in Strawberry Mansion Thursday morning. Jones's arrest also comes less than a day after police took 20 one year old Yasin Bivens into custody. Bivens also faces murder in connection to the shooting. We are still looking for everyone else involved. Four other suspects remain at large, and just one of them has been publicly identified 16 year old Dayron Bernie Thorne. Police aren't sure where the suspect and the other shooters have been hiding since the deadly incident that happened back on September 27th. How are they evading police for so long? The truth is it's a very difficult job, even if you have identified suspects, to be able to locate them. The shooting killed 14-year-old Nicholas Elizonde and left four other teenagers wounded after a football scrimmage last month. I'm in a pain that I didn't know existed. The mother of the teen murder victim spoke publicly outside of Roxborough High School Tuesday, saying Philadelphia needs to do better to tackle crime. We're in a state of emergency. We're in a war. And no one has the luxury of riding the bench. And police still need your help identifying three suspects in the case. A $45,000 reward is being offered for information leading to an arrest. You can call 215-686-TIPS. That is 215-686-TIPS. And police tell us that they are close to making additional arrests. Reporting live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you.